All right, how's it going, my Buff Bros family? Here I am with another unboxing, and I'm excited for this one because I seen it on the SEMA um, show when they were having it, and it's the mint on a stick, and there it is right there, showing you right there. I don't know if the camera can see it, but that's the mint on the stick, and this is how it comes. So if you ordered it, or if, you, if, you, if you're gonna order it, sorry, because if you ordered it already, then you don't have to be watching this, right? But if you haven't ordered it, of course, this is how it comes, this is how it looks, and this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna open this thing up, and we're gonna see what we got. And I wish I had it more prepared, like a little blade, little nice blade or something, a nice knife or... So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Rams key, you know, you see the gear. I hope you ain't hating. You know, yes, we are doing bad. I do know that. You know, you don't have to remind me. But I mean, put it down in the comment. Who's your team? Who you rooting for? Like I said, I'm from here. I'm from LA, so I support anything LA. That's why you always see me either rock, rocking my Dodgers, my Rams, my Kings, Lakers. I mean, I even go as far as just anything LA. So, that's just me though. You might be here in the LA area and might be rooting for another team. I don't know how you do that, but hey, that's you. This is me. But anyways, guys, check this out. So along with the so the actual mint on the stick, it comes in three parts, I guess. Look at, and that's what I was wondering when I got this small box. I was expecting a big long box. So when I got this small box, here, let me see if I can put this on. Yeah, that light right there is on the timer. So as soon as I'm not seeing, so I don't I don't know how you guys um if it dims the light. But anyways, it comes in three sections. And let's see how these work. Let's put this thing together. I'm assuming that's the end piece. And this is this will be the last one. And this looks like the bottom piece just because it's curving, right? see that? I hope I'll check it out. I hope it's good enough. So you twist it together. Now you got the whole stick right here. Um, all right, I can kind of see. Yep. So that's it right there for that part. And let me see how this, how this bottom piece. Let me see. I don't know what that is. Okay, so you got the bottom piece here. So you saw I came and this kind of swivels, rotates. Um, that's how it looks. And I'm assuming this one goes. Let's see if I can get some light on here. I might have made some type of mistake here, guys. I don't know. See. Up right there. Oh yeah, it did. Oh man, this is not that hard, right? But I'm guessing you would have to put it more aligned. See how the stick is like this. So I'm thinking you. I'm gonna loosen it up because I tightened it too quick, and I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up where the curve is. You know, see, see how it's curving? So this should be straight like that. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. All right, common sense, right? So as long as it doesn't move, I'm thinking you're in business. Oh, but it does move. Let me see if I can hold it down and put it together. better okay i see all right guys and it has the uh, the um what is it what is that that mesh to stick you know i guess these things that it come with so i think i paid about a hundred bucks and they threw in this towel it's a dreadnought towel and you know i like me some towels i got a bunch of towels but i i like some towels i like new towels and 
I can always use another drying towel. I have a bunch of these smaller ones like this. This one's called the Dreadnought. I don't know what this one's called, but I'm gonna grab it. Give me one second. This one reminds me kind of of this one right here. This one has the edges, but it's pretty much the same. It feels the same. This this ply, I guess it's, it's bigger, but I mean, you, you can see it. It almost looks the same. Um, this one's just a little bit bigger. Then this one, this this one came from the rag company. I think these were like 11 bucks for, I think two of them, if I'm not mistaken. I really like it. I like the size. I like it. I I, I, I use this for um, when, I, when I blow off the car, especially if it's coated, I come back with any type of um, ceramic detail spray or anything that I have, um, polymer sealant or anything, any type of drying aid, I wanna say. And I'll spray it on and I'll just use this one. It's not it's not too big where it's gonna, you know, drag on the floor. Uh, this one, I mean, I guess it's, it'll still work for the, for the same thing, right? It's not too big. It feels thick, it feels nice. So anyways, that's that's that towel, right? So, not here for the towel though. But it just, it came, it came with it, right? So, I like it. This back plate, I think this is for, for this, see that's what that's for, right? We'll see. And it originally came with this one here. Kind of reminds me of just a regular microfiber scrubbing um, pad that you that you get, right? Like, the, right. This is a bigger one. This is the the new big noodle from Chemical Guys. I haven't even opened this. I'm just opening it right now. And I like how it feels, but pretty much right. It's the same thing. So you can, you can see that you're not going to be doing any damage to your vehicle or any other vehicle. If you're a detailer, right? You're not going to be doing any damage to your personal vehicle or to any vehicle using something like this, right? And it has a little slit. So that's why this square is like this, um, because this should probably go over this. So we'll see how this goes. Let me see how this, how this works. So, and, and does it need this, this pad here? I don't even know if it needs this pad or if it just hooks on just straight to this. I think it just goes straight to this guys. You can go straight in here. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm trying to just stick it in there, guys. And it has these little things so that you can open it. Man, they thought about everything. So I'm thinking it just goes like this. Right? And then you clip it on. Wait a minute. I don't know. No, I think I think it's gonna have to be with the because that feels a little too hard. This feels a little too hard. So that's why I'm thinking that they made this to go in here. But let's see, man, we're going. I'm learning just like you. So, okay. So that's wrong because it doesn't fit. So I figured that out. Okay. So then it is like this, guys. It's just this one. Goes over, hooks under. You press it in here somehow. Just like that, first try. There you go. And now you've got your mitt on top of here. And let me see, cause I know there's a way to lock this. Oh, there it is, so it locked this way. And there's a way that this should be able to rotate Oh, so I think I have it, I have it to rotate like this, but maybe if I move this, no, no, it's, it, it should be just like that. Okay, that's rotating. All right, guys, so there it is. Maybe playing with it a little bit more, I'll figure this thing out, because as of right now, I really still don't understand it. But I know there's a way just to get it to lock in certain places, certain positions, tilt move there's buttons back here that i'm trying to mess with but 
Well, as of right now, I don't know how to use it, right? So um, that's why I got it. So as you can see how fresh it is in my mind, if you pick this up and you learned a little bit quicker than me, let me know how you did it, what you did. Okay, so see, so this moves this way. Okay, so it moves this way and this way. And okay, so there's a locking button here in the back. So I, I was on the other side. So there's a locking button so you can lock it so then it stops moving. And you can just use this, this piece here to wash, right? So scrubbing. And, and I like the way that it tilts that way you're not you're not just scrubbing, you know. Um, it's not gonna move right there anymore, so that's gonna be a lot a lot better. And you can get the top of vehicles. Um, me, when I do larger trucks, it's kind of hard for me to get on top. I, I don't have the biggest ladder. And, you know, it just makes it hard. Um, so I figured this will help me out in my business and what I'm doing and the vehicles that I'm doing. But if, I mean, if you're not doing top vehicles, you don't really need it, honestly. But me, I am, so. When I, when I saw it, I said, I'm gonna pick it up. So there you go, there's that piece. And I ordered this um, wash mitt as well, just so that I can pretty much have two. When one's dirty, the other one can come in clutch, right? And this is just that, that softer, um, they say it's softer. To me, it is softer, yeah, it is softer. <laughs> yeah. So softer vehicles, right? If they're well taken care of, coated, you don't really want to mess them up. Um, if you're just doing like maintenance client stuff that you've already polished, I'd recommend using this one. If it's a vehicle that's more of a construction vehicle, they, they really don't polish it. They just want it clean. I do get a lot of those vehicles as well. I think I'll be using this one more for those. Um, it's still soft, it's still safe, but I, I, I personally think that this one will be safer, but I haven't tried it guys, so don't, don't, don't hold me to that. Um, you guys probably know more than that than me if you're using these. If you've seen how I wash vehicles, I just use the, the, the brand new towels and I just use the eight sides and you know, if, if it gets too dirty, I, I toss it out, I bring out another um, microfiber towel and that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so that's why I got these two right here. And I didn't wanna go without getting this drying, this is a drying, it's, it's almost similar to the, to the towel, the material, um, and it's a drying um, mitt that goes in. Oh, that's why, that's why, okay, now I see. That's why they sent this. Okay, so this, that's what this is for. So this is to protect that when, it's, when, it, when it goes in here. That makes more sense, yeah. So I think that this is what this is intended for. And man, this thing is, is, man, you can see how, you know when you get something new, you haven't quite figured it out, you haven't messed with it too much, you don't really know what's going on. But I mean, that's what that's for. So now, after I'm done washing it, I don't have to be trying to reach if the blower for some reason leaves something. I mean, I can't even get any type of, you know, this is my ceramic detail spray. I know it's in a generic bottle, but I use a lot of it, so I couldn't use one of my smaller ones. But anyways, guys, this is that ceramic detailer spray. I can even spray this right on here, spray it a little bit on the vehicle, and go ahead and get some type of protection as I'm drying, right? As I'm drying the vehicle. And it's not gonna be moving like that, of course, because it's gonna be on the vehicle, right? So I have to figure out how I'm gonna dry, how I'm gonna get it to. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, it's gonna work. So there it is, guys. That's what I picked up um, just today. It just got here today. And I was just excited to record this video. Um, I only had two jobs today, so you'll be seeing some footage later but it is the 29th Tuesday. And I just wanna take this time to, I know there's a lot of sickness going around right now. So I just wanna um, say that, you know what? I pray for healing over your, your bodies and over your families right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare healing over you guys. So know that you're gonna be okay. 
Um, my wife and and I have been praying over our kids. Our kids are, are down right now. Fever, cough, you know, headaches, body aches, congestion. And um, so we're going through it also, guys. But, you know, as you can see, there's still a smile on my face because I have faith. Did I say face or faith? Anyways, still a smile on my face because I have faith, right? So if you haven't tapped into that, I hope that you do. You know, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a great one. And we'll continue to put some more content out there. I'm going to actually show how this actually works out there on the field, in the field, or here at the garage, you know, wherever it is at that that I'm at. If they bring me a truck or something big here and I'm here, we'll record here. If not, we'll record out there and just continue to bring you guys content, guys. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support for you subscribers, man. Thank you guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, man, go ahead and, and, and subscribe. Hit that like button, that notification bell. And anytime I get new stuff, guys, um, you guys will be the first to know because I'm going to be putting it on here, man. I want to share my knowledge, my experience, and just the new stuff, the cool stuff that's out there. And just kind of show you before you even purchase it, like, man, is this a good buy? Right? So um, we'll go from there, man. And, um, you know, till next time. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. All right. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Okay. So like I said, God bless you guys, man. We're out.